So Lucas, we're here together in a virtual studio visit. And right now, because of the coronavirus, so many people are sitting at home in front of their screens and communicating with the outside world only by way of these little technological devices. Now, you are an expert in creating in a kind of very rich life um, in this creative space of your home and your studio and your apartment. And I wonder if you could take us virtually through your work in a kind of um, electronic studio visit that we can all participate in vicariously through your screen. I've been alone for 20 years. So being stuck in, a, in my apartment now again is not a big deal. All, all that's different now is the, uh, the possible destruction, you know, all the things that uh, you knew were around. So uh, the, the, the other people may not know how to uh, sort of uh, live by themselves for a week, a month, a year, years, many years. Uh, I found even early on that what I liked about it is uh, to spend uh, time, you know, working on art. Whatever. Every day I would spend like four hours. So I must have, I must have tackled with my brain in a way where uh, I was, I was in joy for four hours. So I, I use those four uh, hours or five to say I'm living in heaven for a minute or, you know, for some minutes every day. And it's terrific, you know. I began to have a direct interest in photography, either photographing myself or using photographs that were taken by other people from the time I was born to now. The interesting thing about that is that over the years, before the 20, 20 years that I'm living alone, I would go over the album and say, gee, I, I love Toffel there, you know. So later on, I began to see my past a little differently so that every, every aspect, you know, every chapter became interest to me. And I could deal with the ugly ones. There wasn't ugly anymore. There were me and I was trying to remember if I could. Photography is such a magic thing that it helped us to remember things by many, many years. You know, we've had photography for 200 years now and they produce the reality of people. You know, they don't have to have wait for somebody to uh, use words to explain, you know, what this individual was. I began to love the pictures. It's like they were a gift of uh, God knows what, but it was a fantastic gift that continued for 200 years. If you didn't have that, you wouldn't know 90% of the time of how you looked at other times. You just would have no, no idea of, of seeing your past. Photography is fantastic in that sense. So now you want to see uh, some of the stuff that I've been doing. That would be fantastic. Here is a new thing I started um, a couple of weeks ago, where I'm using the Mille Fiori. And I started working with them as if they're the ones, they're the, uh, the subjects. You know? And sometimes you see them as being people, as if there's a mouse here, maybe this is a younger person. There's a conversation that takes place between those uh, Mili Fioris. Okay, so here is the stuff that I have on the catalog. Now, this photograph was taken when I was a baby, you know, like a four months old. But then here's another one, and I say, who is this creature? You know, it's a creature, it's not a kid, but I combined it with all these elements, which are part of our art making for, for, for 10 or 20 years now, you know? And I added things that are not, not necessarily symbolic, but um, they have blood. And then here's another one of me and my father. When my father was about to come to America, 
it's like he said goodbyes, and that's why he put me next to his legs. And I remember he threw a gold coin when I was on the floor afterwards. And then he left, and that was it, you know? No father for nine years. So it's important, it's fantastic to have a section like that about what your life was pictorially. Here's a way I used to have those uh, Mille Fiori, but also other stuff from very different countries. You know, hundreds, you know, hundreds of, of these things. And I had them and I loved them, you know. And then when all these went to the Pace Gallery for the show, the last, last year show, then uh, I, had, I had empty areas, you know. It was empty for me. So I took about two or three days, you know, with emptiness. And I'm saying, now, what am I going to do? I mean, I don't, I don't want to just see that. And lo and behold, I had something to put in. It's not real stuff, but it looks three-dimensional. And each area has these things, you know? So I got such a thrill. It's fantastic. New York City is a very important part of your work. Yeah, of course, I love it. I mean, I live in it. Well, I'm going to tell you that story. Uh, I had a camera and I used to go uh, from my apartment at that time to, to the gallery. And I passed through our park and I could take a hundred pictures and none of them were very good. And then five, 10, 15 years later, I bought a Leica, a small one. And the park became heaven for me. It was just a... Uh, all of a sudden my brain, you know, found a different way of looking at the park. Uh, and then uh, at the same time I was going to the park, I was going to the streets of New York. So I would go to a place on uh, like Saturdays or Sundays where there were tables with hundreds of stuff. And I stopped photographing the tables because each one was a world of our worlds, not one world, many, you know. and. To me, they were heaven, you know. These tables were heaven. Like, that was for me art, you know. But it was just great. It, I spent like uh, 10 years or 20 years doing that. So to me, that's also New York, you know. Things happen, special things, and I find myself in different parts of the art world. You know, like, wow, am I doing this? And is somebody liking it? Strangely, I'm sad in a way, but then I'm seeing how fantastic my life has been in giving me every 10 years or so a fantastic thing that I never would have known that it existed. It shows how everything that happens in your life comes into your work. Exactly. So that's my excitement two ways. One has to do with art. The other has to uh, sort of... Uh, do things with photography. I think that's a beautiful place to end. Okay, you, you made my day. Okay. So Lucas, thank you so much for this. It was wonderful. Okay, be happy in your life. You too, take care. Yeah, see you. See you, Lucas, bye.